Okay guys, so this is what we did here. This is my front box. As you see, this is where I usually store. They know you hate me, man. Why do you keep okay. talking like because, me? Because I'm talking to the camera. This is the front box. Goes in my front where my front seat was. This is the front box that goes where the front seat was. Okay, as, as you can see, we have carpeted this box just for aesthetics. No functional reason, just for aesthetics to make it look nice. We went and got a silverware tray to mount on top there just for extra storage space. Then we also inserted this little slide table to come out so, you know, when I'm cruising along, when we're cruising along and we wish to have a little extra shelf, there's a little shelf there to pull out and set stuff on or when you're just sitting there having dinner and you're sitting in your front seat, you know, you got a little shelf to put your stuff on. Closes back up. What we're going to do here. We're going to take a piece of three quarter, run across here, and this is where the refrigerator will be mounted. Should be a nice little storage spot. Very functional. You know, when you're living out here on the road, you have to take advantage of every spot you can take. Okay, thank you. Alright guys, today I wanted to show you my setup up front uh, where my refrigerator is mounted and how it's mounted my iPad mounts attached to it in this box here uh, took the front seat out obviously built a box to carry my WEN generator my 3100 watt generator uh, I didn't want to put it on a mount in the back until I find one uh, that I like uh, no, I do not run the generator inside the van. It's just where it goes when it's being stored. So, built this box. Put little areas in front to store some little miscellaneous items. On this, we also built a little pull-out drawer. That way of sitting in the front. Want to put a drink there some food whatever meat lunch or whatever or whatnot that's there these are one buys on either end on either side got these drawer rollers to uh mounted inside the one buys now for the refrigerator got a piece of 23 30 seconds plywood and what we did is went up underneath Got some bolts we took the legs out of here sized up the bolts drilled the holes put the bolts up in there to mount it to the board and then mounted the board to mounted the board to the platform across so it's sturdy in there see this from the passenger side door generator will sit in there this here is where the seat was in here the airbag and everything as I said 23 30 seconds don't remember the exact dimensions on this I want to say it's uh, 22 like 22 inches high And then, forget the the length on it, probably 18. Like I said, it's enough to fit the...
So I put this Reflectix on here because the refrigerator is black. It's in the front seat. Sun will be shining on it on a regular basis, which will cause the condenser to keep kicking on more often because the fridge will heat up. Open with this, reflect a lot of that sunlight, keep the condenser from running as often, save as much power as possible, and save the life of the condenser. This generator is about 80, 85 pounds. So when I need it, I pull it out, tie it to the to the back of the van. When I'm done, throw it back up in here. Okay, so you got your child lock on there so that it's not pulling open if you take a turn stuff flies you know bends around in there take that loose and then when I'm sitting or anything sitting in the front Pull the little table out. It ain't the prettiest craftsmanship, but it's functional. This here, if you can tell, is for a tablet or iPad or whatnot. I really like these things. Uh, it originally mounted to the seat mount down there, but when I initially installed it, there's a like a stability clamp that goes on there to keep the base from breaking, which I didn't read the directions. I just threw it on there, didn't think about reading the directions, and after about a year, this thing you know it's got some wobble to it when you've only got it based down there and then it eventually snapped off down there so that's the bottom of it so once I built this box seems sensible enough just clamp it here still making use out of it these things this I got at Home Depot uh, this I got off of Amazon, uh, but I just recently created an Amazon storefront for uh, the influencer. And if you go there, there's a link in the description. If you go there, go to the home page, and I've tried to make a few little lists of things that I use and you would need if you come out here. So if you want, check it out. See if there's anything there you want, like. Alright, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at all this. It wasn't difficult to put together. Uh, there's the view. That's what I wanted to show up here was basically from the driver's seat. That's what I'm seeing. I can still see my mirror. No, I'm not seeing out there. Yes, it takes away some of the visibility, but I'm a, I'm a mirror user. I really like using my mirrors for the most part uh the only thing i'm gonna miss from over there is maybe a pretty girl here and there or somebody flipping me off because i wasn't going fast enough or whatever it may be so other than that mirrors that's what i do uh in my other van i had some of that space over there and uh this box was smaller because the only the box in my other van was only to store batteries uh, that's what I would like to have done in here but in this van I have the air conditioning unit up there so 
I needed a generator. Uh, I initially bought a smaller one that would fit up in the front seat, you know, in, in, with the seat still in here. But I decided to go with the bigger one because the smaller one wouldn't run it the right way. It would want to shut off and whatnot. So went ahead and went with the bigger generator. I don't like the, the swing, the stowaway uh, racks for putting generators, especially with the transit. The ass is so low uh, from the hitch point. So basically would need somebody to fabricate a, uh, need somebody to fabricate a hitch in the back that kind of, once it came out from under the bumper, it lifted up and then raised the actual generator. Uh, I don't know anybody that can do that and I'm not going to spend that much money to have that done. It's not worth it. Just went ahead and made this box. Uh, not difficult to pull it out, put it back in the back, uh, tie it down start it all that good stuff so uh, until I see a good mount for the rear that's where it's gonna stay right in there so all right guys let me get out of here peace